I just can't seem to catch a break. This is absolutely not what I wanted to talk about today. At least my baby is safe. Even be parked at home without something happening. I'm also gonna go ahead and put tires were damaged just because I'm unsure if they are. I mean, they feel good still, but you never know. Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Not the video I wanted to make today. Uh, I don't know if fluids are leaking. I don't think they are. Um, doesn't seem like they are. No, they're not. I don't want that. This is ridiculous, man. Can't even open the door. They hit it that hard that the car jumped onto the curb. <laughs> like, look at the distance. I parked the BRZ there, right? And the Ford is like almost a full car length away and it was right here I cannot catch freaking break I'm just chilling at home I don't do anything so as you guys can tell by the title of this video and the clips you guys just saw somebody pulled a hit and run on my Ford Focus I'm not even mad or upset or sad what does like kind of piss me off is like i've been responsible for every other thing that has happened to my car like all the bad shit that has happened to me with my cars and everything it's my fault right this time i was home i was at home not doing a single thing minding my own business sleeping probably i don't know what time of the night this happened go out there and i see that my car pray i'm praying it's not suspension i'm praying it's not anything with the suspension i'm hoping it's just cosmetics yeah man i'm just chilling at home not doing nothing and my car gets messed up anyways like hit and run dude at somebody's house come on now I don't have a lot to say about it because it's it's currently just still under investigation. I just thought I'd let you guys in on another bad thing that has happened in my life. Well, okay, it's like bad, but not bad. Like it's bad that it happened. Obviously, this would be bad if it happened to anyone, anywhere. It doesn't like doesn't matter. But like, I wasn't even at the store. I wasn't driving. No one was in the car. Boom, 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 boom. Somebody hits it. Um, and drives off obviously it's a hit and run and i do know the type of car that did this i don't know who the person is we didn't get a license plate the only reason that i know the type of car that hit it is because some of their car parts fell off of it i guess like from the impact like i'm pretty sure it was hard enough that a piece of their grill popped off and 
one of it was a driver's side um like a mirror like a driver's side mirror cap yeah there was those two pieces on the ground and they had part numbers inside of them like every car part has part numbers on it so i looked both of those part numbers up for one the mirror cap said ford on it so i know it was a ford and i know it was a red ford because the mirror cap thing was red the type of car that hit me was a 2010 2014 red ford fusion um and that's all i know um have no information of nothing besides those two car parts my thought isn't to find the person responsible i mean yeah that would be a plus but i really i just want i just want my ford to be drivable um intact um i want it to function properly right though i haven't actually tried to drive the focus um and that's mainly because um i don't know how insurance claims work i don't know if they're gonna send someone out to assess the damages like i don't know how that stuff works but i don't want to move the car um I, as you can see like from the video clips I can't even open the driver's side door all the way. The car does still turn on. Um, I went through the passenger side door. I turned it on just to make sure it turned on and it turns on and it sounds fine, right? Like the engine and everything sound fine. Like I don't think they hit it that hard, but I do think, oh, I, I hope not. But my assumption is that something with the suspension may be messed up. For that reason, I do wanna try to possibly drive it and see if I notice anything that feels different, just in case insurance wants to take a look at it for any reason, um, I'm not moving it. Unless I get the okay to, then I'll try. But as of right now, I can't do anything but sit here and wait. I'm just grateful that I at least have another car to get around in. It's not the end of the world, but it's still a, accident that i wish didn't happen but it did and that's life but yeah guys that is what happened just letting you guys in into the good the bad you know as much personal things as i feel comfortable sharing so that's it for today's video wish me the best with the forward focus next video will be the car mod that you guys chose for the brz the votes are tallied up and i will be letting you guys know very soon see you in the next one